Hello everyone, this is Joe with Speedway Motors Tech Talk, and we're here today to talk about our Wheelwise Tire Fit Check Mock-Up Tool. This is a patent pending tool that allows you to dial in a simulated tire and actually put it on your car to determine whether or not it's going to clear your wheel well, suspension components, etc. This is handy if you've got a muscle car like this Chevelle where you're trying to get the biggest tire under the rear that you can. Also, if you have like a lifted truck, you're trying to put a big off-road tire on it. There's plenty of adjustment in either direction with this tool to allow you to dial in the tire that you think you're going to use. To demonstrate how to use this tool, we're going to walk through three different scenarios. The first is what if you have a tire size in mind that you want to see if it will fit on your car. We want to try out a 275 6015 on the back of this Chevelle. The first step is to dial in the 275 width. This is pretty easy. It's all marked here on the tool. There's 275. We'll tighten down the wing nuts. Then the height scale is sidewall height. And to determine that, knowing that we have a 275 with a 60 aspect ratio, we need to do a little bit of calculating. The sidewall height in millimeters is the tire's aspect ratio, which in this case is 60, divided by 100 times the tire width, which in this case is 275. When you plug that in, in this case it equals 165. So we're gonna dial in 165 on the tool. And there is a 275, 60, and then we'll set the hub to 15 inches. So now that we have our tire size dialed in and our wheel diameter dialed in, we're actually gonna fit this to the car and figure out what size wheel offset we would need to fit this tire. So you can loosen this wing nut and slide this in and out and tire spacing is marked on this scale on this top plate here. So we'll move it out to kind of the maximum tire spacing. We'll hold it flush against the hub and then we can turn it and see where there is interference. So we're good there, but it starts to get tight when we get back here. So we're gonna have to move it in a little bit. And so there, there we're clear of this wheel lip and we're gonna tighten this wing nut and that's gonna indicate our maximum tire spacing that we could have on this car. Now we're gonna calculate how that translates to wheel offset. With this off the car, we can see that our tire spacing measurement is approximately 137 millimeters. Here's how to calculate offset from that tire spacing measurement. The wheel offset in millimeters equals the tire width in millimeters, which in our case is 275, divided by two minus the tire spacing in millimeters, which in our case is approximately 137. When you run that calculation in our case, we end up with a zero offset. Once you have your offset, you can also calculate the wheel back spacing. We'll need our tire width expressed in inches, which we can calculate by taking our tire width in millimeters, which in our case is 275, divided by 25.4. Next, we'll need to choose a compatible wheel width for our tire size. In our case, we're choosing an eight inch wide wheel. With those values, we can calculate the back spacing in inches by taking the tire width in inches, which we calculated to be 10.8, plus wheel width in inches, which we chose to be eight, divided by two. Then we're going to subtract the tire spacing, which we know is 137 millimeters and is also expressed on the tool in inches as 5.4. So we'll take that plus a half inch, which will then equal our back spacing in inches, which in our case is four and a half on our eight inch wheel. The next scenario is what if you either already have wheels or you have a wheel picked out and you want to see what tire size will fit on that wheel on your car. Let's continue with this simulation using our Chevelle. We already have this 15 by eight inch wheel and we want to experiment with some different tire sizes. We know that it has a four and a half inch back spacing but in order to use the tool to calculate tire size, we first need to convert that back spacing back into offset. If you already know your wheels offset in millimeters, you can skip to the next step. The wheel offset in millimeters equals 25.4 times the back spacing in inches, which in our case is 4.5, minus the wheel width, which in our case is eight, divided by two minus a half inch, 
And working that all out on our wheel, it once again equals zero millimeters. We already know from our first simulation that this 27560 will fit on this wheel on this car, but we want to use the tool to see if another tire size will fit on the car. To do that, we know our wheel width, so we're going to choose a compatible tire width and calculate the tire spacing dimension needed to simulate that tire. So we're going to choose a narrower 255 millimeter wide tire and see if we can go any taller with the diameter. To calculate the tire spacing for that 255, we will divide the tire width in millimeters, which is 255, by 2 minus the wheel offset in millimeters, which in our case is zero, and we end up with 127. So we're gonna dial in 127 millimeters of tire spacing on the tool. To complete this simulation using the tool, we're first gonna dial in the width, which is 255 millimeters, and then on to our calculated tire spacing, which was 127 millimeters. All right, with the wing nuts that hold the sidewall height loose, we can kind of move this around and see how tall we can go with this narrower width. And the tight spot on this car is right back here at the back of the wheel well, so rotating this around sort of shows that. So it's not gonna get any bigger than that. So we'll lock down our wing nuts and then we will run a calculation to see what tire this is. And once again, the tire aspect ratio is simply the sidewall height in millimeters divided by tire width in millimeters times 100. So in this scenario, our sidewall height was 180 millimeters divided by the tire width, which was 255 millimeters times 100, and that gives you 70. So in this simulation, a 255-70 tire would fit this wheel. And finally, if you don't have a wheel or a tire size in mind, this tool can help you try out some different sizing. So far in our simulations that we've been doing with our Chevelle here, we've been focused on a 15 inch wheel, but this tool will also work with different diameters. So we have dialed in an 18 inch wheel and we're gonna adjust this to something wider, like a more of a pro touring tire. So let's say a 295, we'll tighten down our wing nuts here we're gonna see what aspect ratio and what, what wheel size would fit a 295 wide tire on an 18 inch wheel on this car. In this situation, this is a way wider tire, so we need to pay attention to this outer dimension, but we also need to pay attention in here, this edge in here marks the inside dimension of the tire. All right, with our 295 width set, we're gonna manipulate the the tire height a little bit, find something that seems comfortable. And we're also going to manipulate the tire spacing, which, which equates to the offset of the wheel. Right about there seems like it's pretty well centered in the wheel well. Let's see if that clears everything. That is that way. Also seems to this way. So let's check that and see what that equates to. All right, reading off the tool, we have a tire spacing of about 130 millimeters, and we have a sidewall height of about 105 millimeters. So we ended up with a 295 millimeter wide tire with a sidewall height of 105 millimeters and a tire spacing of 130 millimeters. The first thing we're gonna do is calculate the tire's aspect ratio. That's 105 millimeter sidewall height divided by 295 millimeter tire width times 100, and that gives us 35. So that's a 295-35 tire. So given that tire size, we're gonna choose a 10 inch wide wheel to calculate our offset and backspace. To calculate the wheel offset, we're taking our tire width, which is 295, divided by two, minus tire spacing, which equals 18 millimeters. To calculate back spacing, we need to once again convert those metric dimensions into standard inches. So we're gonna start with our 295 millimeter tire width and divide by 25.4, and that equals 11.6 inches. For tire spacing, it's either written on the tool or you can convert that 130 millimeters by 25.4 to get 5.1 inches. 
With those numbers calculated, we can plug it into our backspacing equation. That's 11.6 plus 10 divided by 2 minus 5.1 plus 0.5, and that gives us a backspacing of 6.2 inches. To learn more about this tool and other patent pending wheelwise tire fitment tools, check out the Wheelwise product line at speedwaymotors.com. Thanks for watching.